Greetings, I'm here with the Daily Meta for January 8th, and this launches us into Chapter 1 of Search for a Nonviolent Future. The chapter is called Hard Questions, Hard Answers. The point of this chapter is to try to help us to look below the standard questions and answers that we are fed by the mass media about violence because this is one of the things that prevents us from dealing with the problem of violence. Uh, the cliche that you often run into when there's an act of violence that nobody can explain, if somebody is killed for his tennis shoes or a couple commit suicide for no apparent reason, they say, quote, there really aren't any answers. Well, I refuse to accept this, is what I wrote. I refuse to believe in the journalistic cliche, meaningless violence, I refuse to believe that there are no answers to the cheapening of life and the rise of violence against it. And I go on to say that what the media do is focus always on the details in a way that almost prevents us from getting down to the underlying causes, which are those two forces that we talked about yesterday in our daily meta. And if you remember, I had quoted the uh, case of these two teenagers who did the uh, Columbine massacre. Uh, they said that they wanted to hijack an airplane, plow it into New York, and kill as many people as possible. And this has become a kind of cult. Uh, if you ask me, the country should have stopped dead and at not gone back to business as usual until they could answer the question, why do our young people feel that killing as many people as possible is desirable? But instead, the newspapers and the coverage in the media focused us on the fact that these boys had been teased. In some cases, it focused on the fact that they wore long trench coats. And so the answer to violence is to forbid the boys from wearing trench coats. Um, and uh, it's, I think, helpful, helpful for us to remember that there are three big questions that we should be answering. What is violence? Why is it getting worse? And how can we make it stop? Do not let the mass media distract you from those questions. Those are the ones that will lead to a solution to this problem. They will lead to and lead from a sense of human agency that we can do something about this, which is part of the new story of humanity that I'll be leading up to eventually. So thank you very much for listening in and uh, do send us uh, your questions. Um, uh, let's see, why don't we ponder those three questions for today and ask yourself, do they make sense? Do they help you reorient yourself? And uh, what might the answers be? And as Mahatma Gandhi used to say, if you find this intriguing, we are invited to join the experiment.